The Caribbean islands consist of more than 7,000 islands and islets, while only 2% of them are permanently inhabited. Which among that vast number should you choose for your trip? Explore the top 15 islands that we think are best to visit. The three islands of the Netherlands Antilles, also known as the Abe Sea Islands, are located off the coast of Venezuela. As they are outside the hurricane belt, they are ideal travel destination all year round. The islands are perfect mainly because of their magnificent sand beaches and are also great for scuba diving and other water activities. In addition, they offer exciting nightlife, especially in Willemstad, Curacao. The islands have a well-developed infrastructure. You don't have to take notes. We have included all the practical info in the description below the video. That's where you can also find links with accommodation tickets to attractions and tips on how to pay abroad so as not to overpay on currency conversions. Aruba is a tiny Caribbean island off the coast of Venezuela with beautiful white beaches and sunny weather. In addition to these obvious attractions, the island offers a wonderful, vibrant capital city called Orangestad. The attractions of Aruba include the Arikok National Park, various museums and farms, as well as interesting buildings and monuments. This small Caribbean island has a staggering number of beaches. There is something for every kind of tourist here. Wide sandy beaches, peaceful oases snorkeling spots, surfers paradises, or a secluded magical bays with great waves. Popular attractions in the Bahamas include Nassau, Paradise Island, Freeport, Castaway Cay, Andros, Harbor Island, Bimini, or Coco Cay. The Bahamas have been considered as one of the ultimate dream destinations since the first James Bond movie. Those who want to discover the beautiful beach area should head to the Blue Lagoon Island in particular. Among other things, these areas are characterized by completely natural grounds. The possibility of very close contact with dolphins and sea lions is also a special feature of this place. However, these are wild animals, so it cannot always be guaranteed that they will be around for you to watch them. Yet this is not all that the Bahamas have to offer. You can enjoy fantastic flora and fauna at the Artistra Garden. You might also want to visit the Nassau Pirate Museum. Barbados is one of the Caribbean's easternmost island nations located on the North Atlantic coast of South America. The British colony gained independence in 1966, but is still part of the Commonwealth of Nations today. The King of Great Britain remains head of the state and is represented on the island by the current governor. The island is characterized by its unique Caribbean climate and Joey de Vivre. It can be reached either by boat or plane, which lands at an international airport about 15 kilometers from the center of the capital. Located in the southwestern corner of the island, Bridgetown is a cultural and commercial center. Since 2011, the historic Old Town has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city center is home to many interesting and architecturally attractive colonial era buildings, such as St. Michael's Cathedral and Harrison College. Other city's major attraction is the Constitution River, which flows into the harbor in the heart of the city. The harbor is referred to as Carinage by the locals. The Chamberlain Bridge that runs through Carinage is a popular spot for tourists. There's also a National Heroes Square with a statue of the famous British Admiral, Lord Nelson. The archipelago has more than 100 kilometers of coastline, with numerous bays that often hide gorgeous beaches. The climate is particularly pleasant which is why Bermuda has been a popular tourist destination for more than a century. Apart from the colorful fish that gather in the warm waters around the island, it's hard to find other wildlife there. There is not a single endemic species in Bermuda, 
Attempts are being made to reintroduce endangered species, such as lizards and sea turtles, after the government's recent awareness of environmental problems. Bermuda is best known for the mysterious disappearances of ships and planes in the famous Bermuda Triangle. Nevertheless, the archipelago has much more to offer than just legends and scientific hypotheses. Bermuda has been under the British rule since the 18th century and has a unique blend of English serenity and Caribbean joy. The festival season lasts from mid-January to mid-February. For six weeks, Bermuda hosts numerous dance and folklore performances, as well as displays and plays. During Easter, the traditional paper dragons complement the unique color palette on archipelago's beaches. In Hamilton, the National Gallery of Bermuda features African masks, paintings from Europe, and local furniture, an absolute must. Visit is the town of St. George. It was founded in 1612 and the worm macked walls are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Curacao is the largest of the ABC Caribbean islands. More than 50 ethnic groups live on an area of 444 square kilometers. Most of them live in the capital, Willemstad. White sandy beaches, sea turtles, flamingos, and Queen Emma Bridge are among the attractions that make up to the Caribbean charm. In addition, colorful houses also make the city's neighborhoods an attraction. The country of Curacao has been an independent state within the Kingdom of the Netherlands since 2010. The official language is Dutch, but the most commonly used language of Curacao is Papiamento. It probably originated in colonial times and is a mixture of Portuguese, Dutch, Spanish, and some English. Seven Mouths is the name of a park on the northeast coast of the island that shows the sea from its rather rough side. This place is included on every top 10 attractions in Curacao list. From a distance, you can see Mount Christopher. It is 375 meters high, and it is the highest peak on the island. The Dominican Republic is also called the Cradle of America. The cities and landscapes offer many attractions. World-famous beaches such as Playa Rincon and Samana are worth a visit. You can take a stroll along the city streets and see the monuments that line the colonial city of Santo Domingo. Take a walk to the ruins of La Isabela in the province of Puerto Plata, where Columbus built his first and only house in America, on a rock overlooking the sea. The UNESCO Biosphere Reserve in the southwest is also worth a visit. Here you can enjoy the greatest biodiversity in the country. Most of the tourist attractions are easily accessible from the country's main tourist destinations and are open all year round. In the far south of the Caribbean, Grenada is known as the Island of Spices. It is home to fragrant nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, vanilla, and cocoa which grow in fertile volcanic soil. Grenada is also home to two more quiet islands. These are Cariacou and Petite Martinique, which are located northeast of the continent. The island offers an attractive mix of local culture and colonial roots, as well as rainforests, mountains, colorful seaside villages, plantations, and beautiful beaches, surrounded by frangipani and exotic trees. St. George's, that is Grenada's capital, is one of the most beautiful cities in the Caribbean with a vibrant port of careenage full of sailboats. Many vacationers spend time relaxing near Grand Anse Beach. It is one of the best beaches in the Caribbean. There is much more to see on the island than just golden sand. The island offers waterfalls, hiking trails, and reefs along the coast. Popular activities include swimming, snorkeling, and fishing in Grenada's turquoise waters. Those who love history will enjoy visiting the country's forts and museums. Beach lovers will feel perfectly comfortable on the Cayman Islands coast. This is where you can find real swimmers paradise with sandy beaches surrounded by palm trees and crystal clear turquoise waters. There are beautiful coral reefs off coast. 
but if you are looking for an exceptionally idyllic setting, then you should leave the West Coast and head to Little Cayman, where wonderful landscapes with completely empty sandy beaches are located. The islands of the archipelago are home to many rare species of animals, some of which are in danger of becoming extinct. The first inhabitants of the Cayman Islands were the Arawak Indians. They were a folk group who lived from farming, fishing, and harvesting. They also crafted special and beautifully decorated dyed ceramic pottery. The Arawaks lived in complete harmony with nature. Today, the local culture consists of a subtle blend of local traditions complemented by American and British influences. The archipelago's culture is primarily reflected in festivals. The Batabano and Bacchanal carnivals, as well as the Pirates Week Festival, are important events. The sites of Costa Rica are diverse, but the most captivating thing is its nature. This country is incredibly green wherever you look out of the plain window. You will be able to see dark green rainforests or meadows. Only tiny villages in between with their red roofs create a slight contrast. Cuba, which is the largest Caribbean island, has a lot to offer and provides a wide range of adventures. In addition to many beautiful paradise beaches, there are scenic, stunning buildings and places of worship everywhere. Party lovers go out dancing at festivals. Cuba's rich cultural heritage ranges from tobacco and sugar cultivation to original street art. Nature enthusiasts explore green oases with its rainforests and waterfalls. There are numerous museums and churches to see. Havana is one of the largest and most beautiful cities in Latin America. Here, you'll come across colonial palaces and churches, museums, galleries, and bars every few meters. That's why it's fun to just wander around aimlessly and get lost sometimes. What comes to everyone's mind first when they think of Jamaica? Bob Marley, reggae, rum, and white beaches. Jamaica has much more to offer. Here you can truly experience everything from a relaxing beach vacation to an adventure-filled vacation with something to do every day. Jamaica is green full of forests, jungles, waterfalls, and fantastic food that you just must try. You can find many luxury resorts here. Unfortunately, sometimes there are so many tourists that it's hard to see everything you have planned. There are certainly three places that are worth visiting. These are Negril, Montego Bay, and Port Antonio. These areas are well-developed tourism spots and are good starting points for other tours. Puerto Rico is called a rich port for a reason. In 1493, conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon and his chief Christopher Columbus seized the island for the Castilian crown. The warlike Caribbean tribes of the local Tainos welcomed the strangers with open arms. However, forced labor and transmitted diseases only sped up their decline. The Archaeological Museum Centro Ceremonial Indigena reconstructed some of their straw huts. Words such as hurricane, canoe, and corn were left behind by the indigenous people. Colonial rulers imported foreign labor from West Africa for their plantations where tobacco, coffee, and sugarcane were grown. The leftover molasses was used to produce precious rum. Today, the Bacardi family operates a world-class distillery here with tastings tours for tourists. The local favorite, however, remains Don Q rum from the Sorales distillery on the south coast in Ponce. Walks on the beach are simply wonderful especially on the Caribbean islands with their palm-lined coasts and turquoise seas. The same goes for St. Lucia, of course. This tropical island has a lot to offer. The first must-see is, of course, Castries, the island's capital. Its very location in a beautiful bay surrounded by the Mourn Fortune Mountains and the foothills of the Vigi Peninsula will impress everyone. While devastating fires in past years destroyed some of the old buildings, you can still take a stroll down the streets and come across many gyms. On the east side of Derek Walcott, 
Square is the wooden cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Built in the 19th century, wooden columns and colorful Caribbean paintings on the ceiling of the neo-Gothic building are particularly worth a look. After the tour, you can relax under the giant Samania tree in front of the church, which is said to be 400 years old. You can enjoy more nature at the King George V Gardens, which were established in 1887 as St. Lucia Botanical Garden. A visit to the government house on the main road leading to Morn Fortune is twice as rewarding. On one side, there is a magnificent view of castries from the viewing platform there, and on the other side, there is a beautiful Victorian building raised in 1895. Trinidad and Tobago is located off the coast of Venezuela. It is a paradise in the Caribbean that offers many wonderful beaches and relaxation. The lifestyle on the Caribbean islands, which are among the most beautiful of the Lesser Antilles, is all about relaxation. While Trinidad is lively, Tobago offers plenty of peacefulness and rest on its fantastic beaches. The capital of Trinidad and Tobago is Port of Spain in the northeastern part of the main island. The most important seaport of the island is located there. Port of Spain is the economic and cultural center of the country which consists of two urban centers. The historic part of Town Down is worth seeing, as well as Queen's Park Savannah. With its numerous monuments, the metropolis has many faces, from modern skyscrapers to Victorian buildings. When shopping, it is good to go to Frederick Street, Royal Botanical Garden, with exotic Caribbean plants such as orchids, is magnificent. Tobago's capital is the town of Scarborough. Stunning sunsets can be seen from King George. The island has wonderful beaches, such as Pigeon Point and Store Bay. There are many interesting places where you can learn about the island's flora and fauna. The Emperor Valley Zoo is just one example. Since the islands have separated from the mainland, you can find animals that can't be found anywhere else in the Caribbean, such as capuchin monkeys. Of course, this is only a brief overview of the attractions and information on the 15 most popular islands in the Caribbean. It's hard to tell you everything that is worth seeing in one video. Certainly, the Caribbean islands deserve to be called paradise on Earth. Here you can get away from everyday life and see what life is like for the Caribbean people. It's definitely a good idea to start planning your vacation and visit the Caribbean now. You must see it with your own eyes and experience it with your own senses. If you're already planning your trip, you can find accommodation and tickets to attractions on the spot in the links under the video description. You can also order a card for cheap payments abroad the same way. Press the bell and subscribe to our channel if you want to receive notifications about new episodes. Have a nice trip.